Sorry about my phone. I just have it turned that way. That way I could sit down and and um and read. See, so I could read like this. I don't know how else to put my phone. So, but anyways, I wanted to talk about um um. You see, I wanted to talk about um these Bible scriptures. You see, I was sharing some stuff with uh with um a Jehovah Witness. I was sharing some stuff with this guy, right? And you see, uh, these people, I mean, I'm trying to be nice, trying to say good things. But um, you see, um, I, I, I told him a story. One of my old friends in 1988, one of my, when I was in the world, in the gang life and everything, one of my friends... In the gang life, he was murdered, and he was a young guy. He was in his 20s. We were, at that time, we were on our 20s. Yeah, we were on our 20s, and and you see, now I'm in my 40s, middle 40s, so you see, time went by, you see. So I was sharing with this Jehovah Witness that, you know, just sharing a story. I have a lot of stories to share. I, you know, sometimes they come back to me, sometimes they don't. But you see, my one of my friends, what he used to do to get easy money, you know, he'll get his gun and he'll start robbing um, Mexicans, right? I'm Mexican myself too. Um, Mexicans, um, in another terms, we call them paisas. Um, um, you see, um, the homies call them like paisas. Um, so he started like robbing, but it sounds that that word sounds very, I don't know, it doesn't sound right. But you see, um, but anyways, um, you see, uh, he was robbing, um, these people, right? And with his gun, he'll get easy money. He'll rob them, you know. He'll come out with some money with his gun and rob them. Jewelry, money, whatever. So he was like that for a while, uh, doing his little thing, easy money. Um, until one day, he robbed. Um, I was telling, I was sharing this story with this Jehovah Witness, right? Um, so one day he robbed the wrong paisa or the wrong Mexican, right? He robbed them. I don't remember the story very well. But you see, the only thing I remember, he robbed them. And then this guy came back and this paisa, Mexican guy, he came back and shot him. And my friend passed away. Um, so we buried him and everything in the cemetery right here close by um, to where I live. So... I was sharing the stories with this Jehovah Witness, right? And and basically he was like kinda like laughing, right? He was laughing. Um because uh you see what my friend was doing, he was stealing. Um so basically his laugh was like that's what he gets, you see? Um something like that. So I was like I just shut my mouth, I was just like Wow, you know, um, basically, like, you know, if you do evil, that's what you're going to get, you see. Um, you see, I expected something else coming out of the, the mouth of uh, a person like like him, like, oh, oh, that's messed up, or a whole Jehovah, or God, give him a, a second chance, or, or something like that, right, because... That's what Christians do, you know. Um, Christians, that's what they do. They 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 have hope. You see, um, they 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 still have hope, even though um, um, whatever has happened with my with my buddy, my friend, um, the one that passed away over twenty years ago. Um, you see, um, so. But he was kind of rejoicing, you see. He was rejoicing over this, right? Um, this uh, Jehovah Witness, because of my friend that that was murdered. 
So I was just like, wow, I could see his wicked heart, like really, like deep down. You see, I'm like, wow. You see, that's why I'm making this video because I want to share some, some information with you about about rejoicing when the wicked perish. You see, my friend, he didn't have the opportunity or the waking up call to change his life and turn it all around. You see. So hopefully God will give him a second chance, uh, you know, in, in the, when the, resur the resurrection comes, you see. Um, so I want to read to you um, something from the Bible, Ezekiel uh, chapter 32, verse 11, uh, part of the, part of the verse, and it says, um, says, to them, as I say, as, as I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. You see, um, that's God right there. He takes, he doesn't take pleasure of the wicked when they perish. He doesn't. You see, even though when they do bad or whatever, right? He doesn't, you know, he doesn't, you see, so right there, my friend, he robbed this guy, and there was, he robbed him, and this guy killed him, I turned around, came back, and killed him, right, um, so, like, right there, the Ten Commandments were violate, violated right there, you see, that's why the Bible is very important, to follow some of these commandments, you see, so it came back. You see, like, the Bible says you should not steal. Because when my friend was stealing, um, you see, there was, and then this guy came back and, and murdered my, my, my friend, my homie. So you see, two violations right there, you see. My friend probably started the, the problem, and this other guy ended up, um, making it worse you see so now my friend no longer here um some of his uh family members they probably you know they still remember his uh brother or other dad still remembers his son so i'm pretty sure they visit him all the time in the in the on his grave over there where he's at they, i'm pretty sure they visit him because when that happened, they were devastated and destroyed. They were my homie, my, my, cause he had a brother, his brother, my homie, and his father was my homie too. So they were all from the same, like, gang, same, same, same stuff. Right here close to East LA, um, East LA, right here in Los Angeles, um, um, in the San Gabriel Valley area. So you see, um, this stuff um, took place a long time ago, and rejoicing over 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 people that perish. I don't think that's that's cool at all. I was checking some other Bible verses about this, and I found. Um, let's see. Let's see if I could go to Proverbs. Um, Let's see if you get if it's okay with you guys. Proverbs eleven, um, something close to it. Uh, uh, it says uh, Proverbs eleven ten and eleven. Um, it says when it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perishes, there is jubilation. Um, that's what the Bible says. So there's joy when the when the wicked perishes, right? But as we've seen in in, in um, Ezekiel, um, it's something else. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. You see, um, I don't know if this took place um, during the daytime when my when my friend died during the daytime. Or nighttime, you see, when he robbed this guy, 
but there's another Bible verse in Exodus chapter 22, verse 2, where if someone is breaking in, a stealing um, at, at night, and you happen to kill them, um, you see, you're not guilty of bloodshed, but during the daytime, if you happen to kill um, the, you see, like like the thief, um, and then you're guilty. Um, so, you see, um, but you see that the Lord says in Romans twelve nineteen, God will settle the score. Avenging, avenging, avenge is his. Avenge is his. You see, um, so, you see, um, so this, 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 this reminded me, sharing the story with this Jehovah Witness, um, reminded me of, of I don't know, um, to make this video, um, you see, um, how can you rejoice over someone's death, you see? Or if the wicked perishes, you see? Um, when your enemy stumbles, do not um, rejoice. Do not, like, laugh. Do not, you know, do that. Um, so this is what uh, some of the Jehovah's Witnesses, I noticed that they have done that. They rejoice over, over these things. And and they just can't wait to um for the world to be destroyed by God. Um that, that that's what they're waiting for. So they could be happily ever after. According to them, they're the only ones that are gonna be saved. That's what they're been saying for for decades. Um but you see, um this is something um amazing you know i i want to rejoice over over my enemies you know that's not me um you see or a story or bible stories you know the bible stories like nineveh uh, they all repented and then jonas was upset um you see like there's a lot of examples in the bible that some were killed and and you see, um, I, the way how I view this is that, you see, 